I'm with uh, Francois Ronsi, director of the ITU Radio Communication Bureau. Welcome to the studio. Welcome. The World Radio Communication Conference has been in session for over four weeks in Geneva through the month of November, and we have had something like 3,300 delegates from uh, over 160 countries. Why is the conference so long? Well, it's long because we have a number of issues to address which have required four years of preparation, of long studies, of a lot of meetings and interaction. And this conference is the place where you try to wrap up all this work in a single set of new regulations on a number of different issues. So this explains why we have so many people, because it requires expertise in many fields, so it's different types of experts. And also, it, many of these issues are extremely contentious, extremely difficult, so you have, for each of the items, you have to find solutions which are sometimes difficult to develop. And this explains why we need that much time. So what are the key outcomes of WRC 15? WRC 15 is a very successful conference. I think I want to insist on this. We have covered a number of issues. The most important ones uh, are new allocations for mobile broadband. So this is going to ensure that the spectrum required for 4G and 5G development is available when it is required. We identified several hundreds of megahertz of new spectrum for broadband mobile. Uh, and more equally important is that this spectrum, in most cases, is allocated globally. So this will ensure this will ensure that uh, the benefits of global harmonization will bring reduced prices for the production of equipment and therefore more affordable broadband for all. The second aspect um, is uh, global flight tracking, the ability to follow um, the status of planes around the world. Um, we found a spectrum to satisfy this requirement and this was a very much expected outcome from uh, not only the civil aviation authorities and, and the air transport industry, but also for everybody in the world. Um, we also had uh, a very successful outcome on uh, unmanned aircraft vehicles, um, by which uh, we uh, will enable ICAO to proceed with the development of standards for um, this equipment. And by the time when uh, these standards become available, um, we'll review the situation in 2023 to ensure uh, a stable framework for the development of uh, these unmanned aircraft vehicles. We also made a number of new allocations for satellite services, um, including um, satellite communications, but also Earth exploration satellite which will enable more accurate and more um, developed uh, exploration of the Earth, not only the resources, but also uh, the evolution of the climate, which is, of, of course, a very important aspect, especially since we are uh, entering into COP21 negotiations now. Um, so these are the most important aspects. We, we address many other issues, but I wanted to insist on that. Another one is um, the satellite regulations, we, which are important to ensure that we have equitable access to all countries and at the same time that the resources are used uh, properly and efficiently. So who would you say will benefit most from these decisions taken at WRC 15? I think one of the important aspects of, of um, the outcome of this conference is that everybody will benefit. Um, there was a lot of concern when we started this conference from um, industry of broadcasting, the industry of satellites, that um, new allocation for mobile broadband may actually 
put uh, their industry at risk. I think what we have managed to establish is while we allocated new spectrum for mobile broadband, we uh, managed to give a, gi a good perspective for, for the future for both satellite and broadcasting industries. I think for this reason, all, uh, all the participants are, are very happy. So what are the next steps in translating the de decisions into action? The uh, final acts of the conference that uh, will be signed by uh, all participating countries the today, this afternoon, um, the final acts will enter into force um, on 1st January 2017, and all the decision of the conference will then become uh, effective. Um, we have also, uh, during this conference, uh, decided on the preliminary agenda for the 2023 conference and on the agenda for the 2019 conference. And these conferences will, uh, let, let me start with the first one for, for WRC 19. Uh, they will also address a number of issues and in particular, uh, again, broadband mobile allocations. But this time it will be in higher frequency bands, um, in particular above 35 gigahertz. And um, in these frequency bands, um, you have obviously a very short, much shorter range than in the ones we are using now. So it means very small cells, but at the same time, very large bandwidth. We are speaking for any other options considered of bandwidth uh, for which each of them is much larger than the total of uh, uh, all the allocations currently used. So we, we can see uh, the prospect of uh, a lot more spectrum available for, for broadband mobile through the decisions of the 2019 conference. Um, there will be also uh, other requirements for Earth exploration again for satellite services. And uh, one aspect of um, all, all the uh, work which is going to be done on, on these issues is the um, perspective of convergence between fixed and mobile applications. Uh, I think it will be one of the main challenges for spectrum management in the future is to transition from fixed to mobile in a, a number of fields. And the outlook on the future for ICT industry and for users, where do we go from here? WRC 2015 has paved the way for the future in all radio communication aspects. What, it, what the decisions taken during these four weeks are enabling is that new technologies in the future uh, can be enabled to deliver cheaper and wider services to everybody, um, in particular for broadband internet. And what these decisions do is that at the same time they enable these new technologies to come, but they protect the existing investments and the future investments of other services and other technologies which are already implemented. So this paves the way for um, a smooth development of all radio communications, whether we are speaking of broadband, mobile uh, access, or uh, satellite delivery, or television broadcasting, scientific services, emergency and defense services. All that um, is made possible by the decisions of this conference, and this is why it is so important. So WRC 15 has paved the way for the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Alsi.